Hello fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the market replay function with the TradingView platform. Now, if you're not familiar with what market replay is, market replay is a nice tool where you can go back to a specific date and time and you can actually play replay data for, the, for what took place on that specific date at a specific time for any specific instrument that you're trying to activate market replay for. This could be useful, for example, if you're working a full-time day job and you just don't really have the time to focus on the markets because you're working at your job or your career and you want to be able to see what took place back in time. That's what basically what market replay is. So how you access market replay at the top of the chart here, you'll see where a replay button here where it says bar replay. We're going to click that button. And this is going to activate the replay panel at the bottom of the chart, as you can see here. Now, there's three different options as far as setting a criteria for market replay. You can select a specific bar. So, for example, if I select select bar, I can actually select now a specific time where I want the replay to start from, or I can go to a specific date and time, which I prefer, or you can just choose any random bar. So we'll just use the select date and time method for now. We're going to click the calendar button here, and now we're going to go ahead and choose the 27th of May on Monday. And let's go ahead and start the replay from 9 o'clock in the morning. It's going to utilize military time. So 9 would be 9 in the morning. And then once you have your criteria and your date and time set, you want to hit select and you'll see the actual chart revert to market replay mode. And you'll see the last candle will be exactly at nine o'clock, as you can see there. And if you hover the mouse cursor, you can see that the date shows Monday of May 27th. All right. So now the next step is you want to hit the play button here to activate the market replay. All right. So right now I have it at a specific speed, replay speed of one update for every two seconds. You have the ability to change the replay speed to simply choose the re replay speed of your choice. So let's just slow it down for a second. This is basically the slowest setting of one update per 10 seconds. And you can actually execute trades on the market replay as well, which is cool. There's your order quantity in the middle, your sell button, and your buy button. So for example, if I just bought a contract, now you can see I'm long. Remember, this is a market replay position, so you're not going to see it in your net positions in your trade panel since it's not a live trade or a demo trade. It's a market replay trade. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and just flatten out the position here. I'll we'll just sell it back. All right, it looks like we made $3.75 on that trade. All right, so here's me speeding it up once again. Let's go three times, so three updates per one second. Now you can see that market replay is kind of whizzing by and starting to go a lot faster. Slow it down a little bit. One update per three seconds. So you can also just hit the pause button if you just want to take a break and pause it. You can hit play to, re to, to replay it again. This button here will basically allow you to forward the market replay, and this button will allow you to jump to real-time charts. Now, if you just want to deactivate the market replay function altogether, you'll notice this little X button at the end here, and you'll see where it says Exit Bar Replay. All right, I'm going to hit Yes, and now you can see the market replay is now deactivated, and now we're back to normal charts on the micro e-mini S&P 500. And this is how you use market replay with the TradingView platform.